welcome back to the channel. We are in the car today because we are heading to the store. I just grabbed some coffee. We are going to be reorganizing and restocking my guest bathroom, which also doubles as my office bathroom. It is a mess. Um, and these videos are all over TikTok. And then I've seen people like bringing them to YouTube, like full kind of vlog style videos. And I love watching them. So I thought my guest bathroom is kind of in shambles and uh i could probably do with some organization in there so that's what we're gonna do today okay we've made it to the organization aisle there is a ton of options found everything we needed and then some i was actually very pleasantly surprised with the selection at my target of containers normally they're not great but they were just as affordable as like TJ Maxx or Home Goods, and I felt like there was more of a selection. Like sometimes if you go to Home Goods, that's normally where I recommend going. But sometimes you never know what sizes you're gonna get. And here there were so many different sizes. So I grabbed a variety. We'll see what we use in each drawer, what we don't. I normally like if, even if I have extras, I found places to put them throughout the house because I am a person that. If something doesn't have a space, it's very hard for me to keep things clean. So using the little containers to organize things out just makes it a lot easier. Before we get into the meat and bones of this video where we actually do the haul and I start organizing the drawers, let me show you what we're working with um, because it's not great. And I haven't decided what all I'm going to tackle but I'm just gonna kind of work through as much as I can with what I have and then we'll go from there. So this is the guest bathroom. It is connected to my office, so I use this space quite a lot, but also it's the bathroom that's open to everyone when they come and visit. So we need to do some organizing if you can't tell, like this is all my junk. Um, <laughs> I've got some storage here and I also have this whole tower of storage. I don't know if we'll touch this today because it's got a lot of stuff in it and it's all kind of random, but these drawers are what I want to tackle right now. So like underneath here, there's like nothing. We could be using that a little bit more effectively. This top drawer has a lot of hair care in it and just like random things. This is the drawer that I think I want to make a little bit more available to anyone else if they come here and just, it needs organized. Then this drawer is where I have a lot of my like day-to-day -day makeup and skincare, but this can all be reorganized because it is not an effective use of space. And then this bottom drawer is just um, lady products and like this can be cleaned up too. And I also got some stuff to just like spice this up a little bit let's go ahead and do a haul of all the things that i got quickly before we actually get into the organization if you can hear buzzing in the background that's my washer i'm sorry it is my sunday reset day and i have so much laundry to do i couldn't time it without laundry so yeah that's what that noise is but let's look at what i got to organize the drawers to restock the drawers for guests and also just like a couple little touches to finish off that bathroom. First things first, I got this little bath tray. You could put this anywhere, but this is in the bathroom section of Target. Um, and they're very clear on the back that this is for decorative use only, not food safe. So don't put food on this, but for displaying anything, I just thought this was a nice simple tray. It was 15 bucks and this could go anywhere. Um, it's like not something that's gonna go out of style, you know? But I wanna organize the top a little bit better. I have a candle and some soap, but they normally just like sit on the side of the sink and it doesn't look finished. I am so excited about these because that bathroom is a little bit dark. And so I wanted a way to kind of like brighten up the space, lighten it a little bit. And I found these in the Magnolia section. And like, yes, they're obviously fake plants, but they don't look too fake from far away. And I actually have quite a few plants like this just around my house, like little propagation. So it's not a stretch that I would have like real plants like this. I feel like it fits the style. And I just think they're gonna look really cute in there. And that bathroom needs a pop of color because it's pretty, you can see like the lighting is very warm. There's no windows in there. It's all interior. so. 
I've played off that with the colors like I've chosen very warm tones for all of the accessories but I also feel like just a little bit of greenery and brightness will help that space. Next, I got a variety of different shapes and sizes of clear acrylic organizers. So these are all from Bright Room at Target and they have so many different kinds. I like the clear acrylic because again, it's one of those things where like you can put these anywhere and you're not going to get tired of them. They're so versatile. I've got them in closets, kitchen, drawers, like you can just do a lot. So I bought a couple of these squares i'll link all the different sizes down below so if you want to see um these are six by four got two of these big ones they stack really nicely so these can either go in the drawer next to each other or this might be going underneath the sink to help a little bit these ones are 12 by 6 by 4. then i got two of these which are a little bit smaller, but again, really nice stackable. These are nine by six by three. Um, I got two of each of these long ones. Longest ones are 12 by four by two. Also good for shallower drawers. Like these, the first two I showed are, you're gonna want for more like deep drawers. Um, the medium ones are eight by four by two. And then, the little ones are four by four by two. And then I also got four of these, which are a good medium size. These are six by four by three. So that's all the little buckets we got. And you'll see how I fit them into each of the drawers. But now we need to talk about the little products I got to stock the drawers, not only for guests, but also just for myself. First things first, little basic cotton rounds. Personally, I use these, but I also thought it'd be good to have some accessible for guests. I've got a little toothpaste, a couple makeup remover wipes. My idea is like, if someone comes over, just take this whole pack, okay, right? These are like a couple bucks, so you can have those stocked in there. And then I also grabbed some Tide pens. There's nothing, like we host um, dinner and game nights quite a bit, so like we're often having a lot of food. And of course, like when you're eating anything, accidents happen so I wanted some of these for myself because I never have them and then I thought it'd be good to throw a couple of these in the bathroom as well I just grabbed a couple beauty blenders these are actually the real techniques miracle complexion sponges, but I love these and I thought you know if you're traveling and you forget like all your makeup or anything like that one beauty blender is gonna do the trick for a lot of things so that would help and also of course I would use them so not something that will go to waste. I grabbed the TikTok famous toothbrushes. They're not really TikTok famous, but in any restocking video, these are the ones people get because they are cute. And also it was a dollar for two toothbrushes. So I will just keep these. And if someone comes to stay and doesn't have one, or if I need one for like a trip and I don't want to take my electric one, now we've got backups. I also grabbed a mini mouthwash. So like, this is what I'm talking about. Like a lot of people, when they do their TikTok videos, they grab like five mouthwashes. I'm realistic, I don't have people staying over that often. However, someone might want a little mouthwash, one bottle will be enough, you know, for, a, for at least a while. I did grab two of these little mini native deodorants because you just never know. Like, even if you're just coming over for dinner and you're like, oh my God, I forgot to put on deodorant today, I bought you pepper. We've got a hairspray. This is like a medium hold hairspray. So it's not anything that like is going to like, slick your hair down totally but i already have some of that stuff that i can put in here but this is like yeah medium holds comb through a finishing mist can work for a variety of different things and also it's rose gold i also grabbed dry shampoo i feel like batiste is just like a tried and true like it's going to work so grabbed one of these i would get a little mini living proof one but they didn't have it at my target that's my go-to a little sunscreen again like you come over you need SPF girl just take this just take that no problem um pixie hydrating milky mist one of those like just like luxurious finishing touches to the skin and then a couple of just generic skincare products because even if you go somewhere and you like forget your makeup that's fine right we can all survive without a face of makeup but if you forget your skincare 
that is a lot harder to just like skip in my opinion like and also I just feel like I can, I can feel a difference when I don't have my skincare on, right? So like that's a little bit more annoying. So I wanted to have something that like mostly everyone can use. So I got the Cetaphil Daily Gentle Cleanser. That's gonna work for a ton of people. Also, it's so cute and mini. And then I got the CeraVe a Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is like, everybody raves about these two brands. So I thought those would be good and would work for a lot of different people versus having like very specialized skincare. I will probably also go into like my personal collections and throw in some like masks and things like that to have in the drawer. But again, those are things that I can stock like if I really know someone's coming to stay with me versus just having them in there all the time. And then I also got this. This is from Pacifica. It's the Island Vanilla Perfume Hair and Body Mist. So I'm hoping it smells just like vanilla-y. Oh yeah. It's like a very fresh, sweet scent. It smells like vanilla, but there's like a little bit of freshness to it. And I just feel like, you know, a good smelly spray that's not too strong. Never bad to have in a guest bathroom. You know, there's a variety of reasons why you could need something that smells good, okay? <laughs> it's time to empty out these drawers, get everything out of them so that I can reorganize and enter the trays. I've got this little standing tray here and that's where I'm gonna put everything that I'm taking out and then I can see it when I need to refill the drawers. <laughs> into the drawer so I'll show you a little bit of what those look like and then we'll do the finishing touches on this bathroom so this is the little guest drawer it's not perfectly like aesthetic but I think it's got a little bit of everything so we've got kind of like the oral care and also just like basic hygiene drawer toothbrush mouthwash toothpaste deodorant then we've got sort of a skincare drawer where we've got the SPF, cleanser, um, face wipes, mist, exfoliating pads, moisturizer, perfume, hair stuff, so spray, dry shampoo, hair ties, bobby pins, some clips, and then little elastics, backup makeup sponges, and then this is fashion tape um, and tie pens. So. This drawer is not only for guests, but also this is a lot of stuff that like I use the hair care stuff too. So kind of a nice multi-purpose drawer. And then this drawer here is specifically a lot of my skincare and hair care products, but also like welcome for anyone who comes over to use. So in the back, I actually have some stuff I don't use as often. So like makeup cleaner, um, brush cleaner and a cleaner bowl, and then an extra shower cap. This drawer is all of my skincare, so I've got, well not all my skincare, all my skincare that I keep in here. I've got some eye patches, um, a couple different moisturizer options, my cellar water, and this is an exfoliating stick from Tarte. And then this is all hair products. So I've got like dry shampoo, poo, different masks, um, some hold gel, hair oil, and then cotton balls, cotton rounds, and a hairbrush in here bottom drawer this one is very satisfying now it's organized much better i've got some extra makeup bags and then just feminine products organized in different containers 
Also, just in case anyone needs these, it's really easy to see what's in here now. Okay, I set up this little area and I like it a lot. I think it adds a nice little touch to this bathroom because like there's not a lot. I don't even have a shower curtain for in here yet. So maybe that's something I can add too. But it gives this space a little bit more purpose and also like a little bit of a pop. I think it's really pretty. And then our drawers are all beautifully organized now. I don't think there's anything more satisfying than opening up drawers and like everything having a place. So that is the end of my bathroom restock slash organization video. If you guys like these, comment down below what you'd like me to see organized next because I have got a lot of different spaces. I kind of want to do my pantry. I need to do this beauty dresser. I need to do a clean out here. Like we've got a lot of options. So let me know what you want to see first.